I heard about this weirdness. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascend on a World Guide Gaming. And in this episode, we are going to go look <coughs> for uh, Baryonyx. Uh, I would like them for caving, and wa especially the caves with water in them, uh, like the South Cave. And they're just really good dinos to have. I'm still on the lookout for a Therizino. I still have not found a high-level Therizino yet. Um, I did uh, grab, uh, finally grab a male Euteranus. And also, I have grabbed uh, a couple of sheep. I, I s literally stumbled across a couple of sheep, not even really looking for them per se, um, when I was out still looking for Uteranus. I found both of them roughly in the same area. And I have currently have uh, have mated them and waiting for the U to to gestate. So we have uh, Wooly who's 95 and Woolhead who is 136, and she's got about 38 minutes left. So we can't get too far away from the base. Um, and then you know once the baby's born and grows up, you know we'll pick the weakest of the three and. Um, well, I'll just leave the leave it alive until we actually need button. If if indeed we do, um, we may not. We'll see. But since I they were there, I grabbed them. Um, I've got four uh, fertilized uteranus eggs and one fertilized rex egg and two normal rex eggs. Should have two of those. Uh, but hmm, I did. Oh, and I got a normal uteranus egg too. All of those we can make extraordinary kibble out of. Um, I may, I, I probably will hatch one or two of those uteranus, but I might also use one or two for, for kibble. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but I did get another um, egg, uh, avaraptor. I couldn't think of what they were called for a second. Uh, so I have two of those now. I don't know if it makes any difference in terms of stimulate, you know, stimulating the egg laying. I'm not really getting a lot of eggs, actually. I did ask um, Stock to bump the that up which he said he did but uh, so far i haven't really seen um you know seen seen that change so they're kind of coming few and far between at the moment but hopefully that will change and yeah this uh this really weird thing happened i, I actually watched a video uh, earlier today when i was at the office on my lunch break uh of this guy showing how people's shit um is is coming uh, and just floating up in the air right in the center of the map because this is right about the center of the map and when i logged in i um i found this rail here and there's a whole mess of animals stacked up on top of it also i was actually across the river when i logged in i was i was over here and being attacked by a raptor when i logged in which doesn't make any sense and then finally Slots three and four on my toolbar, which had a um, a six shooter pistol and a long neck, was gone. I mean, just poof. But just those two particular things. So it's just really bizarre. Um, but again, like I said, I did see somebody else make a video earlier today showing this kind of weird behavior. So yeah, they got to fix that shit. <laughs> Especially if you know, if I'm gonna wake up with my most valuable RG out of my base being attacked. You know, and and I'm and I'm losing equipment. 
Well, you know, like, uh, well, the long neck was no big deal, but that pistol was, you know, it was a decent pistol. Uh, yeah, not good. So, hopefully, you know, they'll get that kind of weird stuff fixed. Okay. Um, anyway. Let's, um, uh, we're going to go uh, on the, the Rex because, um, you can't really see what you need to see in the swamp you know, flying over it on a bird. Uh, but we're going to take the bird with us too, just in case. And the Rex is big enough to where we don't have to worry about, um, Capro's, you know, pulling us off and that sort of thing. Um, I am planning on also, you know, taming the, the big giant dragonfly thingamadoodles. Um, oh shit. I can't remember what they're called. They're, they're called rhino something or others. Um, and, but I have yet to see one of those. I, I have not seen a single one, but I haven't spent a lot of time in the swamp, though, either. But, uh, Baryonyx and Therizinu are, are the two things I'm really looking out for. Um, I would also take a Sabertooth if I can find a high-level one. I've killed probably a dozen or two, a dozen, of low-level ones, because those are pretty decent for caving, too. And... One of the caves, it might be the artifact of the Hunter Cave, which is just right across the... Or no, not the Hunter. The Hunter's the... Hunter's the south... The other south cave. Whatever one's over across the, the river there, I'm not sure if we can get into that one with a berry. So... Seriously? So we'll see. But uh, the, the thing about the berry is the berry can do everything pretty much, at least as far as caves go, than any other land animal can do, but it also, you know, has, you know, water capability too. So that's why it's really just, in my opinion, the ideal critter to take into these caves, assuming it'll fit. You know, if it doesn't, then of course we'll have to to deal with that. Um, the thylo is also going to be good for certain caves. We'll probably take the thylo into the, to the north, uh, the west, or no, the northeast cave, you know, that's that big hole in the ground. And we'll also probably use the thylo in the lava cave because of its ability to climb walls and stuff. But before we take our perfect tame, well, no, max level, almost perfect tame thylo into the cave, we need to get a female and breed it. So that way we have, you know, backups. Because the lava cave, that's some bad juju, man. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of at that stage right now where I'm mostly done with the base. There's still little things here and there that I can do with it. Uh, and I'm just kind of in taming mode now um, because, you know, we need to start working on our army. But since I'm planning on my main army, if not my sole army to be Therizinos, I haven't even tamed a single one yet. Uh, the other thing about the Therizino, too, is that um, it is, uh, according to Dota decks, it's the second best creature on the island for gathering berries. And we lost our berry gatherer, our trike. So, you know, I have a utility reason for wanting to get one as well. I was uh, flying around over he here, um, kind of more on the east end of the map to uncover it. I've mostly uncovered the entire map now. I still got this little section here, but it, I was flying through here, and this is so cool in here. I'll take you guys uh, in through there at some point, uh, but it's just really neat how they've changed things in there. This is kind of over by the green obby. But yeah, other than this little section here and a little spot there and a couple places in the ocean, we've pretty much managed to uncover the entire island uh, by now. Let's go ahead and head over this way. We'll check to see if there's any beaver dams before we head into the swamp itself. And um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't. I don't think we need to worry about diseases as long as we stay on the back of the wrecks. I don't know how that works actually. But we do have leech blood, and we'll probably get some more while we go through there. So we can make the antidote if it does happen. I'm not sure how Stock has the, the disease is set on the server, actually. I never asked him about that. When I set up my single-player game, I enabled him, but I, but I didn't make them permanent. So. Uh, yeah, there's beaver. There's two be uh Yeah, is there two beaver dams? There is. Okay, um, but there's also a couple beavers around. 
let's see, you follow me, and I want to make sure you're neutral. I want the bird to stay passive, though. Okay, let's open up this, dump that out, grab the loot, get on the wrecks really quick, eat the beavers. There's a terror bird coming over to harass my bird. My bird. The last thing it does. All right, let's go back to here. Grab this other dam. Get rid of the wood. Grab the other stuff. Um, I also discovered I and I actually knew this but I just forgot about it oh you know what I should have done darn it should have brought a sickle with me so we could get some prime meat in case we do find a, a thing madoodle but you know what that's okay we're close enough to the base we can come back and get it because I don't think berries have really high torpid drop anyway um, I forgot that the Akatina also creates paste and organic polymer in its own inventory uh, so yeah, I can go up to it and every once in a while and harvest like a stack of 100 paste. And it usually has somewhere around like 30 or so um, organic polymer in it. So, yeah, really useful. We need to get some more of those creatures. And, of course, you know, the other thing I'm like, looking for is a dung beetle, too. It's not too hard managing the dookie just by hand with the Fiomias, but it'd be nice to have a dung beetle to deal with that. Okay, anyway, let's... um. Keep our eyes peeled for Baryonyx. Um, and, you know, if we happen to run across one of those rhino dragonfly ithia thingies, um, the way that those work, from what I understand, is you have to kill a male. You have to get the some pheromone off the male. Then you have to find a female. You have to take her down to 10% health and then sacrifice your dino, which we won't be doing with this Rex here to it, it lays eggs in the dino, the egg hatches, kills the dino, and you have yourself a, a dragonfly thingy. Uh, we should probably maybe think about getting a, f a frog at some point, too. They're useful for paste. So yeah, that'll be interesting when the time comes. Uh, we just got nailed by a leech. Getting leech blood, that's for sure. All right, let's get the frickin' thing off there. Cool. Okay, moving right along here. Good old swamp. Swamp trekking. My favorite thing to do. It's an interesting place, that's for sure. Let's go this way. There's a red bear. Well, kind of red and reddish brown anyway. At some point we need to get Ben a uh, girlfriend. But if there's one thing that's pretty abundant in the redwoods, it's bears. Let's eat this Trudon. And his buddies. Damn, how many of them are there? We should probably tell October Sky to follow it a long distance so she gets a little higher up near. Can't see a damn thing.
Oh, wow, look at that. Nice. That is uh, even better than the Mastercraft pick that we lost a few episodes ago when I lost everything. Plus, we got a decent axe and a decent pick, too. You know, and that was a relatively low-level alpha, so it just goes to show it kind of doesn't necessarily matter, you know, what level it is. Um, you can still get good loot out of the low-level guys, too. That is cool. I'll take it. Absolutely take it. Let's load this up with... Um, Trink darts. Beautiful. Okay, let's get on back to base. You are three and a half minutes. Well, almost four minutes away. Okay. So let's uh wanna get some berries because we're gonna have to feed the baby for the first little bit here. All right, here we go. There's a little baby lamb. We're just going to call you Fuzz for now. And let's give you some berries to eat. And tell you to be passive and to not follow. Look at you, little baby ram. He's level 99. Cute. Okay, so that is taken care of. Just have to keep an eye on the, the berries for a bit. Um. All right, so let's see. I can't really... Can't really leave the base until, or at least I can't go far, until the baby's got enough berries inside to be okay. It looks like a pegomastic must have stolen some of my meat, unless you've got it. I've got a couple more things to put away here. Let me deal with that. Man, that is one enormous salmon. We should probably uh, kill it and harvest the prime off of it in case we run into a berry. I uh, did grab the sickle. Uh, so let's grab this. Look at the size of that thing, man. Wait, where the hell did it go? My goodness, look at the size of this thing. It's enormous. Wow. Um, okay. I don't know if I can reach that with the sickle. Oh, come on, game. Seriously? Shit, okay. Um How do we do this? I don't know how long that thing's gonna last. Oh, we did it. Okay, we got eleven prime off of that. Nice. Um while we're at it, since we're in the salmon murdering mode. Fourteen more prime. Beautiful. Okay, that should be plenty. Wait! 150 prime? What? Wow! Okay. How did I miss that? <laughs> Let's go put most of this in the fridge. Um, that's a lot of prime fish, my goodness. 
I mean, we sh- with the size of that salmon, though, we, sh- we should have gotten that much. It just didn't seem to show up on the, you know, when it flashes in the lower left-hand corner. There's another glitch since the last update. It just happened right there where the bird will just all of a sudden kind of snap back. It's just really weird. That's 198 berries. Yeah, it, that should... I'm sure it'll, it'll survive off that until it gets to the juvenile stage or whatever the next stage is where it can eat out of the trough. Yeah, I think it's juvenile. It goes baby, juvenile, adolescent, and adult, I think. All right. Well, um, let's go ahead and let's go hit this blue drop, and then we're going to go up the river and see if we can spot a berry. Scorpion saddle, trike saddle, and decent amount of wool. We don't really need any of the rest of that stuff, but we'll take we'll take the wool, even though we have sheep now. Let's kill this alpha here and see if we can get some more fat loots. I don't think we got anything from that. Not even a claw. Did it? Oh, wait. It dropped a bag. Okay. I don't know why sometimes it... Wait, did it? Yeah, it did. Oh, now it's... Her her big sister comes along. I don't know why sometimes it drops a bag and other times it goes in your inventory. It's really weird. So let's check this. Nice, nice, nice. And we'll take that. Okay. And then this one also dropped a bag. Did they ch change that in an update now? Hmm. Okay. This is a nice find because uh, we we were just using a regular. And a, oh shit. Uh, really nice. Uh axe, in fact, or hatchet. That might even be an upgrade for us. Let's see, this one is 170. Yeah, 192. That is definitely an upgrade. Cool. Alrighty. Got a level on the bird. We're just pretty much pumping melee on her. Um, actually, you know what? Let's give her some health. All right. Continuing the search for a, a high-level Baryonyx or Therizino. That's a beaver dam. Level 15 Carnotaur. Beaver's right there. Get rid of that. Grab this. Run like hell. He's going to bite us in the ass. <laughs> Got away. Nice. This is uh, the ri the kind of narrow river that you, can always, you could always find spinosaurs and stuff on. Uh, but there could, could be berries around here, too. Oh, another beaver with a dam. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much for your contribution. Oh, shit. I'm not even on the bird. Get on the bird. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we could find a berry along here. Yeah, let's fly down this river if we don't. We're going to come back to this waterfall that's right behind me and go up through there. 
I really like the changes they've made. So level 10 Alpha Carno, we could potentially kill that. Let's get full stamina and see what happens. Nice indeed. Let's grab this really quick before a Trudon comes along or something else. Alright. What do we get? A 119 pike, a 106 pistol. And maybe that hatchet. I don't know, didn't did we put that other hatchet already on the bird? Yeah, we did. Okay. 175 hatchet though, not too bad. So, okay. Not the best stuff, but it'll do. All right, we got a medium elevator platform, which is good. We got an elevator track, which is good because I am going to set those up. Pretty decent Anki saddle. And Microraptor, get out of here. Go, 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 go. I don't want that damn thing pulling me off. All right, let's go up this stream. And uh, this is going to open up into like a little lake with some really cool uh, rock formation thingies that were not in Survival Evolved. It's also a spino territory. Look at that blue Rex. What level are you, buddy? You are level 50. Okay. Let's land up here for a second and get uh, some stamina. So yeah, this this lake was here before, um, and it evolved. But level ten Spino. I don't remember these, you know, little rock tunnel thingies here. So you can go down inside of here and fly through here. Um, it's almost like a cave, but not quite, because it it's got uh, it's open up at the top in certain places. But it's just really cool, man. I was flying through here the other day going, wow, this is neat. There's a bee. Um, we do have some wildflowers on us, don't we? What? Did it just die? What happened to it? That's weird. It sounded like it just bit the dust. Okay. So yeah, this is just really cool in through here. I like it. I like it. I like the features. And I don't know, maybe that stuff was there before. I just don't remember it. All right, we're going to go along the river here in front of um, the green obby and um, see if we can spot any berries along there. I, I haven't seen anything. In the, oh, wait, never mind. I spoke too soon. There's one right there. It's the first one I've seen, though, up here. And it is a level five. Uh, come on, game. What the hell? 
Well, hello, Spino. 85. It's a respectable level. There's a lot more uh, foliage through here than there there used to be. Of course, that's you can kind of say that for almost the entire map, though. But yeah. So you said fish along that waterfall there. Okay, there's another berry. Uh, level five also. Really? Damn it, game. We'll kill this one just to encourage something bigger to spawn. All right, let's go along this river here. There's a theory. Level five. What's up with all the level fives? Damn it, Jim. Do we get the Therizino claws? Uh, where'd he go? Did we eat him already? I don't see the claws unless they're on a a bag on the ground. Is that like the thing now? Everything's back to a bag on the ground? Yeah. I don't know how I feel like about that. I kind of liked it when it went into our inventory. Okay, there's another theory. One thirty-five mail. That's tempting. That is very tempting. Um, I've got a fairy saddle, uh, on the bird. We'd have to, I think I would want to build a pin, though, for, for that. Hmm. All right, well, let's keep that in mind. It's definitely the highest one I've seen in a long time, but it's still not a 150, you know? You want to mix it up, huh? Now you run away. Did he drop a drop a bag? He must have, because I don't see a spino sale in my inventory. You're not gonna be a dick, are you, Hesperornis? Uh where did it go? We killed him like right about here, didn't we? Oh shit, that scared me. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Not a big deal. Okay, we got a theory mixing it up over there with some trikes. It's, I think it said it was a 30 something or other, but it is in, yeah, level 30 male. Nope, not, not interested. Man, it is dark. Here's another theory. You are level five. Of course you are. There's a Tappy Hara. I really want to get one of those. That's a 140. Yeah, no, that ain't happening. We need we need a lower level Tappy Hara to tame a higher level one. Look at you. What are you? You're 25. Nope. Okay, well, we'll follow the river out to the sea, and then we'll turn around and go up that direction. And maybe that gets into a sw the swamp for a little bit, but then it kind of circles around 
to the river that we originally came in on with our raft when we moved to the Redwoods. Yeah, I am just not seeing a baryonyx, but I do see a beaver. And there's a beaver dam. Oh, he's angry. All right. Okay, yep, yeah, let's go back up the river this way. Oh, there's one of the big dragonfly thingies. It is a male and it's a low level. So what we need to do is kill this thing and get it some um, pheromones. Hopefully the pheromones don't spoil. I don't know if they do or not. Crazy, man. <laughs> Look at it go flying. Shit. Oh, man, my bird's all messed up. All messed up looking. All right, so do we just loot those off this guy or do we harvest them? We loot him. Okay. It has a spoil timer of 23 hours. All right. Uh, can we harvest this for, like, chitin and stuff? Ooh, 371 chitin. Nice. Cool. Okay. So, um... Will this last longer if I put it in the animal's inventory? Yes, it will. Beautiful. Okay. So now what we need to do is find a... I know that we don't care about. It's a terrible thing to say, I know. And then we need to find a female Rigathigamashnigaba. I should probably make an effort to try and figure out how to pronounce that name. <laughs> um, and I think what we have to do is damage it to 10% of its health and then it lays the egg inside of the critter. Um, so... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be on the lookout for that. Um, obviously, we don't want that to happen on our bird, though. Not this bird, anyway. Well, here's a theory. Level 20. Nope. Okay, this is the river I actually wanted to go along um, to see if we can find a berry. I wonder if that pheromone thingy will last even longer in... Um... Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, wait. No, we just came... Wait. Where the hell are we? I'm confused. Yeah, that's the river we came down, and then we went up this way, but got all turned around because of the... Rhinothigirathamuthamuthing... Hey, does it... What does this say? Okay. Rhin... Rhinionatha. Rhinionatha, I think is how that's pronounced. Rhinionatha. Okay. Whether or not I actually remember that remains to be seen, but Rhinionatha. No, wait a second. This is the... I'm like so freaking confused. <laughs> Obby's that way. So I think this is the river we came down, and then we went up this way to get kind of into the swamp and that's where we found the Rhinio Natha. Yeah, okay. Now I know where I'm at. Oh, I just heard a berry. It's fighting something. It's level 15. Damn it. 
and he's he's right next to a Capro too, which we kind of want to stay away from. See if there's anything down this way. There's my raft. Another Therizino. Level 40. Another Therizino. That's a level 15. There's a beaver. couple of them. Oh, the dam's up here. Not even in the water. It's gonna say Spino's probably gonna try and come after us. Okay, let's draw these beavers downstream a little bit and then we're gonna go jack their nest. Four hundred and sixty-four sea mini pace. That's not bad. Let's grab it really quick. I just want that. That's all I want. Well, not having a whole lot of luck with the Baryonyx this time around, but uh, we will eventually find a worthy, a uh, worthy level berry. But I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I'm I'm still pondering whether or not I want to nab that 135 theory. Um, for one thing, that's a really nasty spot. So we're going to have to clear a bunch of stuff out of the way, make a taming pin, and then, you know, do the usual. Of course, we kind of need to do that anyway, but it's not really that so much. It's just that I, I don't know if I want to go to all the effort to get a 135. But if nothing else, it could be a good you know, gathering dino for us, even if we ultimately don't use it to start the boss army, I suppose. But I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to think about it some more before I decide what it, what exactly I'll do. Let's check and make sure there's no thylos on these two trees. Um, so yeah, I think that's it guys. We're going to wrap the episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya.